is no book on the face of the earth that has had the textual criticism that this book has had. I, I sort of feel insignificant when I stand here attempting to speak about the Bible when I realize that some of the world's most eminent scholars have critically looked at every single text over and over and over again, sparing no expense, no time, no effort to ascertain if it was what it said it was. I have read the Bible through many, many, many times. And others such as I have read it many more times, much more educated than I could ever be, understanding both Hebrew and Greek. And the 32 scholars of the highest eminence backed by 50 cooperating denominations, they threw it out to appease us. Did the Muslims threaten you that, look, if you don't take that word out of the Bible, we won't supply you oil? Did they do that, the Arabs? Did they tell you no oil if you don't take this word out from the Bible? Why did you take it out? Because it was an interpolation. It was not the word of God. The Bible you are carrying, it has this interpolation. And you said this morning, I heard the tape, he said one word, even one word. He says if it is not supposed to be there and it's there, he said the whole book should be thrown away. Whole book. But it's not only one word. There are chunks and chunks of it according to your revisers. And Brother Swagger tells me in one of his books that if you want to know anything factual, knowledge on any subject, you go to the experts. And he gives an example that if you want to know something about geology, you go to the geologist. If you want to know about the Bible, where do you go? To the barber, shoemaker? No, you go to the Bible experts, the Bible scholars, and they are telling you that this is a fabrication. Then, the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Brother Swagat also quotes ad verbatim from the first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7, where it says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. If he gives me time, he said, Now look, which book? I can open it and show it to you. Which book? Ad verbatim, his quotation. I said, look, but it's not in my Bible. Is this not the word of God? In my Bible, it's not there. Why is it not there? Because your scholars, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, Bible scholars, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, they say this is a, another fabrication, another interpolation. So they also threw it out without any ceremony. In response to Brother Swagat, Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Bible. In response to Brother Swagat last night, at question time, somebody posed a question to him, where he was asked whether there was any mention of Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in the Christian Bible. And Brother Swagat, according to his understanding, knowledge, he said, no, there is nothing in the Bible about Muhammad. In the world today, there are some 1,200 million Christians and 1,000 million Muslims, and they are at loggerheads on the subject of the revealed scriptures. The Christian, he says that the Bible, the Holy Bible is the word of God, and they will not accept another. And the Muslim says that the Quran is Allah's kalam, is the word of God. Homosexuality, he says what it has done. He's saying in his book on homosexuality, you know, this filthy, dirty thing you call gays, sodomites. You call them gays. He says, America, he says it's time that God would judge you. If he doesn't judge you, he says he might have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. And I will prove from the Christian Bible, 
Not from the Quran. The Quran says they didn't kill him and they didn't crucify him. We are satisfied. But no, to satisfy.